Meghan Markle and Prince Harry broke with a significant royal tradition that dates back to Queen Victoria when they chose a contemporary floral-themed cake on their wedding day. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry are now excitedly expecting the arrival of their royal baby, with a due date fast approaching in late April. Their spectacular royal wedding in May 2018 was a romantic day watched by millions. However, amid the ceremony and tradition of their big day, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex broke with one royal wedding staple that dates all the way back to Queen Victoria. Podcast Pod Save the Queen, from the Daily Mirror. Heard from veteran royal reporter Jenny Bond, who spoke to host Anne Gripper in March 2018. Ms. Bond said, the cake is going to break away from tradition. Normally they have a fruit cake at royal weddings, that's what the Queen had. Most cakes are multi-tiered fruit cakes but this time, Meghan and Harry have gone for something quite different, and it sounds lovely, it's a lemon and elderflower cake. The cake was made by Baker Claire Tack. Podcast host Thames Gripper added, she, Ems Tack, started out in California, as well, which is a nod to Meghan's heritage. She also explained that Ems Tack's bakery, Violet Bakery, is based in quite a trendy part of East London and Meghan wrote about it on her blog. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's cake was a light lemon sponge cake, covered in buttercream icing and fresh flowers and presented not in tears but as three cakes placed on golden throne-like silverware. Queen Victoria's wedding cake in 1840 was a mixed fruit cake, and the monarch started a trend all over Britain as more and more brides started to have a bridal cake for their celebrations. Victoria also made another wedding tradition when she covered her wedding in thick white icing, thereafter known as royal icing. Royal wedding cakes down the generations have followed Victoria's example with many tiers of white iced fruit cake. The Queen and Prince Philip's wedding cake was 9 feet tall and weighed 500 pounds. It produced 2,000 slices for guests and hundreds more were sent on to charities and organizations. Her children Princess Anne, Prince Charles and Prince Andrew all kept the royal cake tradition for their first weddings, too. Prince Charles was so taken by a local fruit cake when he visited Wales in 2004 that he sent for the cake for his wedding to Camilla Duchess of Cornwall in 2005. However, Bakeretta Richardson was completely unaware it would be for the Prince of Wales' wedding day. Kate Middleton and Prince William's official wedding cake followed this tradition too, with a total of eight years made up of 19 separate cakes. However, William's second smaller wedding cake, presented at the evening reception, was a nursery favorite of William's made from bashed up rich tea biscuits and lots of melted chocolate, according to royal author Marcia Moody.